Greetings, everyone. This is Pastor Alan Baggett with today's Victory Church. And I want to bring our second word to you this week and speak into your life. We talked about doubt yesterday and belief. And today I want to take that a step further. And so I want you to go with me to Luke chapter 1, verse 45. It says this, Blessed is she who has believed that the Lord would fulfill his promises to her. As we look at this passage in context, we find this scripture as Mary enters into the home of Elizabeth, the mother of John the Baptist, and Mary greets them, and the baby in Elizabeth's womb leaps with joy, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. Then Elizabeth proclaims to Mary, Blessed is, he, is she who be, has believed that the Lord will fulfill His promises to her. This morning I want to take one step further from yesterday. Believing God is an act of faith. And that act of faith pleases God. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 says, But without faith... It is impossible to please Him. For he who comes to God must believe that He is and that He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. Faith in God is not a blind leap without evidence. Mm -hmm. Or even worse, mm -hmm. uh, contrary to... Or, or it's not a blind leap without evidence, or, or contrary mm -hmm. to that, which would be worse, mm -hmm. is to believe mm -hmm. evidence that's contrary mm -hmm. to the promise that God mm -hmm. has given you. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. simply put, mm -hmm. faith is simply trust. The Christian trusts in God. We trust in God. It's not just a blind leap of faith. I need evidence. What is that evidence? Evidence is something, is, is something that you have that, that shows you that you can go further. Trusting someone or something requires faith in that someone or something. Now yesterday we said that doubt was a lack of confidence. So faith is the confidence and trust in God. You see, we step out and believe. We step into blessing and we step into the plan of our lives. Our faith, strength, and ability to bring outcome and blessing into our lives is directly linked to, to uh, uh, what we have faith in. So faith is not a blind leap without any evidence. It's not, it's not, a, a, it's not a, a, a blind leap into nothing. It's a, blind, it's a leap into the evidence of, of the conviction that we have that God was able to do it for us. The evidence is the deep conviction of things that have yet to be manifested. So I have faith in the evidence. I step out in faith and I step out with evidence. I just don't step out over a cliff. I step out with evidence. My evidence is the confidence I have in God that He will complete what He has already put in my life to complete. It's my deep conviction that even though things have not manifested in my situation yet, but that God is more than able to manifest in that. It's my deep conviction that God is preparing a blessing for my life. It's the deep conviction, conviction that God is preparing a blessing for your life. Let me ask you a question. Do you believe that the Lord will fulfill His promises to you? That takes faith. That takes belief. We all, every one of us, need a deep conviction and confidence that the object of our faith, which is our Lord Jesus Christ, will fulfill His promises. You see, it's not about just having faith. It's about the object of our faith. I can have faith in a medicine that, will, that it's going to heal me or cure me. But if it's not the correct medicine, my faith in that medicine is not going to 
cause that medicine to miraculously have different properties and heal me. It's the faith I have. It's the object of my faith. If I have faith in a medicine that will help me, and I have faith that it's going to help me, and I take it, and it's the right medicine, and it helps me, my faith is fulfilled. It's the object of the faith. If your faith is dependent on your paycheck, if your faith is dependent on whether people like you or not, if your faith is dependent on what people think you're a good guy or a bad guy, or a good gal or a bad gal, your, the object of your faith is wrong. Our, the object of our faith is important. It's not just having faith and confidence. It's what we, have our, what we have our confidence in. We have to have our confidence and our faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. The object of our faith is important. Philippians 1.6 says, He who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Jesus Christ. Galatians 6.9 says, let us, come, uh, let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest. How do I walk into the blessing? How do I walk into the plan for my life? I have to have faith in God. It's not just the blind leap. It's the evidence. The evidence is I may not know what's going to be manifested. I may not know what's going to happen tomorrow. But I have confidence and a deep conviction in my Lord Jesus Christ, the object of my faith, that He is more than able to meet every need and more than able to, to fulfill everything He's put in my heart to do. God has laid things in my heart for this ministry in this house. That, that he's going to accomplish. Sometimes it looks like it's just flat out not going to happen. People abandon you. People go over here. People go over there. And all kinds of things happen. Sometimes the church is a revolving door. I understand that. But can I tell you right now, God is going to fulfill every one of those things he put in my heart 12 years ago when we sat down and began this very thing that we're doing right now. He is going to accomplish that. I have to have a deep conviction. You need to have a deep conviction and the confidence that God will accomplish the things that he's spoken to your heart. Don't throw them away. Leap out in faith. Not just a blind faith, but a faith that is compared to the evidence of the confidence and the object of our faith is our Heavenly Father. Let Him be the object. Not your paycheck, not your relationships, not what people think about you, but the object of your faith, the evidence, is our Lord Jesus Christ and our confidence and our deep conviction that He will complete the work that He started in us. And that we will, at the proper time, reap a harvest. You are blessed for believing that the Lord would keep His promises to you. There is a blessing that comes just for believing. So, this morning I want you to take a step of faith. Not a blind step but a step of faith to the things that God has spoken into your heart and your spirit. Things that were given to you a long time ago that you laid down and because of circumstances and things in life. So you know what? This is not my life anymore. If God made you a promise and God placed it in your heart and your spirit, it is still alive. And you need to step out. You need to step out. How do I step out? You have to step out with the conviction that God, to step out with a deep conviction that God is your source. That God is your source. And allow Him to work in your situation. It may not be manifested yet. It may not have happened yet. You may have sickness in your body and it's still sitting right there. But it's not... Faith is not declaring that it's not there. Faith is declaring I have a deep conviction and a confidence that my God is more than able to help me in this situation and He is going to heal my body. In your finances, it's the same way. In your dreams, in your aspirations, in your ministries, in your anointings, it's all the same. I have a deep conviction and I have a deep conviction inside of me and a confidence that my Heavenly Father is more than able to accomplish everything He's ever put in my heart to do. And I'm going to continue to step out. I'm going to continue to move forward. It may look like I'm going under tomorrow, but I'm going to continue to move forward. Everything may not be working out today, but I'm going to continue to move forward in faith, believing that God is going to fulfill every promise. You are blessed when you believe that the Lord will keep His promises to you. Amen.
That's my word for today. Hallelujah. It's a good word. It's a good word. Listen, share this. Uh, it'll be on YouTube just in a little bit. My notes will be up here just in a moment. Added to this. So you can take that. Please share this. Some of you are, but some, some of you aren't. Please share this. This is not for me. This is I want the word to go out into people's lives. Whether they ever show up, darken the door, the door of this church, it doesn't matter to me. I want this to speak into their life. I want this to speak in their life. I want to help somebody. Let's pray. Lord, we declare right now, we make declaration that we believe in you, that we have a deep conviction and we have a confidence, Father, in who you are and you are the object of our faith, not anything else. You are the object of our faith. And even though we have not seen things manifested yet in the way that we want to see them manifested, Father, oh, we know that you are working on our behalf and that you're working all things for our good and that you will carry it on to the completion to the, to the time that you return to this earth. Father, we declare that you are one, you are true, you are the living God. And we bow our knees before you right now in praise and worship and adoration for all that you've done and all that you're doing and all that you're going to do. And may every word that comes out of our mouth be a word of life, a word of hope that we can give to people around us that they can depend on. May our light reflect and shine you, Father, so that others can have that same deep confidence and they can have that same deep conviction, that same confidence and, and their object of their faith not to be the society around us, not to be the government around us, not to be their job, not to be their families, not to be their relationships, not, not to be what people think about them or what their social status is. Oh, Father, but their object would be you. And we just speak that forth, Father, now. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you guys. I'll be back tomorrow with a third word on belief. Amen. See you then.